In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sell a parcel of land. So I've come into possession of a 512 square meter parcel. You may not be able to tell this, and it's not the most scenesque location, but if I right click the land, you can see the borders. See the yellowness there? That's the borders of the land. It's slightly elevated. If you're wondering if you can change the shape of the land, yes, you can to some degree. I got to do a tutorial for that too. <laughs> and as you can see right here, if I click here, it tells me, yep, it's 512 square meters as an example and other tabs. You may want to make your parcel more presentable, like snapshot. You can change this to another snapshot if you want to have an ad there that, or a logo or something more eye-catching like this. Just change that. This is just any texture in your inventory that you can put on there. And some of these other options, I gotta cover those in other vid toots. But the basics, sell land, right here. This is what you click to start selling your land. These details, be very, very careful about what you answer, what you enter, rather. You notice also that if your attention is distracted and you click elsewhere, this will disappear it's a safeguard to prevent you from making mistakes. See, if you start doing other things, oh, it's gone. That's because we don't want you to err and put in something wrong. Tragedy occurs when someone sets their land for a dollar to anyone. Don't do that. You generally almost never want to do that. If you do set a low price, that probably means you want to sell it to a friend, right? Or someone you know, and you've already agreed on it. That means you should, from this sell land to specific user and make sure to enter a name. In fact, before you even enter a price, you should select the user. Otherwise, you could enter something. If it's going to be sold to anyone, then you could put something like, you know, 5,000, 6,000, whatever, whatever it is going for in the market, not 60,000. But as a quick example to show you how easy that is, if I put down an unreasonable price, I don't mean to sell this, but I mean to show you then I yeah, sell to anyone, right? And when you, when you uh, exit this, notice that a check mark appears after you confirm each amount, like if I was setting it uh, to something. If I set to blank, then it's gonna ask me, then I set it to something, just a lot of sixes, and enter. Then yeah, check mark confirmed. And then it, it's, a, it's a several step process. This option here, this is useful because what you can do with it is if you build a, pre, a house of your own, say, and you want to sell the land and the house as a package deal to someone, then yes, you can sell the objects with the land. The objects that will be transferred, they must have transfer permissions. You can check this for any object by right-clicking, edit, and right here. See, resell, give away, that means it can be transferred. If another way, oh, notice how it disappeared again. It's, it's protecting me. It's protecting me, man. Okay, so I go back here and sell land one more time. Okay, just a bunch of sixes. It helps you from not slipping up sell it to anyone, sure. And you can also show the objects and they will glow. Notice when I click show objects, this glows and it tells me, yeah, okay, all the objects that will transfer, yep, yeah, are now highlighted. Yes, they are. And okay, so I will say yes, just for example. And now set land for sale. Remember, all sales are final. You can't undo this. Once someone buys it, that's it. Okay, so be very, very careful and then you'll be rewarded and you'll feel much better now that you know all these are checked and then set land for sale. Yes, oh, it tells me to be very careful indeed. Yes, we've done this because there's been a lot of mishaps in the past. I understand sometimes the interface has been confusing. This is why I'm making such a big deal out of it because it is a big deal. Okay, and there, now it is being sold, as you can see, price for sale to anyone. Okay. You can cancel it after it started, but if someone else has bought it, you can't get it back unless they sell it back to you. Sometimes they sell it. There's, there's unkind people, just like in First Life, who try to, ex people will call it extortion or people will call it land swindling. There's all sorts of terms. Regardless of terms, though, it's best to prevent making that mistake in the first case. You can cancel it by clicking cancel. Now, this part of the tutorial is going to bridge into the next part, which is finding land to buy. I mean, I'm actually buying this parcel. So, sell land one more time, and I'm going to set. This is an example if you want to sell your land to a friend, okay? And your friend, and you have already agreed that you want to give it to them for free, 
okay, or a very low price. Or in this case, say like 1,000 lindens is a, is a pretty low price for a parcel of this size. And remember, parcel prim limits are fixed. So it's not going to increase. Well, if I click out here again, it's going to make this go away, but I might as well show you. So it's always going to have, oh, it's still there. Um, wait a minute, it shouldn't do that. I guess if I click elsewhere in the world, yeah, there we go. Okay, whatever. But it will show that, yeah, this parcel can have up to 117 prims. I think, let me actually click there. Oh, there are 40, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't show the correct amount, and you just have to go to about land again to refresh it. So this house here is probably 100, is probably 40. Yeah, it is. So I just go back here and general and sell land. So I've got a friend I want to sell it to sell the land to a specific user, and then it will ask you to find who this user is, who this resident, this fellow resident of Second Life. And his name is, as we know, Belmont Tester. And find him, and there he is. Once the name is selected, you can only sell to one person. Select that, and here it is. That's selected. He's clearly shown. Make sure it's the right friend's name. Some people have similar names. Get the spelling absolutely right. No typos. And yes, sell objects with the land. And now I will set the land for sale. Yes, it will tell me. It tells me that he will be able to buy it. No one else can buy it but the specific user. Okay. So what he's got to do now, Belmont Tester, he's got to come over here, like I send him a landmark, or the coordinates right up here I tell him, to come to Ballyhoo at this place and to come and buy the land. Have a look at the next video tutorial where I'll show you exactly how to do that.